yes, this thing is awesome looking. What's going on guys? So today we have water blocks to look at. And not just any block, water block, our newest water block came today. Well anyway, this is a water block that I received from Freeze Mod. Notice the packaging. All right. Here's a nicer water block that I received by, by Kiski or by Siski or however you want to pronounce them. Notice that the, uh, the box is a little bit better design, although they destroyed it with their stupid packing tape. Uh, but yeah, that's that block. And then here is my EK Supremacy water block that I got. Uh, this was in our first build, although this is bad now. The, uh, the threads around the block have cracked due to stress. Uh, but also notice the packaging looks pretty good, right? Well, check this out. This is our new water block. Oh Yes, thermal take Woo! look at that box man. Look at the design the The announcement or the presentation that this thing makes when you see it. It's just it's beautiful I did not expect it to show up like this. I expected it to show up like in one of these things. But when I got this in the mail, I was just like, wow, check this out. So this is the Pacific W7 Plus. This is for the LGA 1200 block. Um, this is what we're going to be using it in is our new water block or our new build that's coming up. It's going to be a basic all thermal take build that we're going to try to do. Uh, but this is the water block that I got so I thought I would open it with you guys So make sure to hit that like subscribe and let's do this Ooh, I am so excited to open this. Oh, yes, let's open it Dun 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 Wow presentation is off the charts with this uh, manual we don't need that please read before installing to prevent damage to the PC components please run pre-installed tests outside the PC to check for any leaks or failure prior to final installation so what they don't test the block to make sure that it's okay they just put it together all right that's important hardware gotta have that definitely gotta have that look at that Damn. Damn. Wow, I have never had something with so much presentation before. Wow. So what do we got here? Um, that looks like a micro USB? What? Why is there a micro USB in this? That is crazy. What, what does that go to? I guess if I read the instructions, I'd be able to know. But look, it's micro USB. See that? Two micro USBs that terminate to like a... What? It's like a USB plug-in for your motherboard. That's crazy. I've never seen one with, U with micro USB attached to it. That's a crazy looking cord. All right, moving on. Um, here's another one. Micro USB to one of their proprietary plugs that's interesting and then here is proprietary to SATA no <laughs> Molex sorry Molex all right and then this looks like proprietary to another one of those USB style plugins for your motherboard all right this right here must be the control module that comes with it Oh yes, and it is. Nice. Very nice. Alright, so now I got something to plug all that crap into. What's over here? This must be the hardware. Wow, even the hardware is like nicely packaged. Notice that everything has coordinates on it. So if you don't know, if this is your first time installing one, they say, hey, you know, get bag H, D, and F out for Ryzen or get bag C, D, and B out for AMD or for Intel, uh, that, that makes life a lot easier. I mean, I've been doing this for years and it just makes 
things either. Check out that back plate. Wow, that's a serious... That thing is heavy. It's made out of aluminum. Yeah, wow, that's really heavy. I'm really surprised about that, and it's real thick. Nice, feels good quality. Excellent. Well, I mean, the CPU that I'm going to hook to it was only $500, so I do expect some quality. See, bag D comes with uh, thermal paste. Nice. And a Allen wrench for you to be able to screw down things with. Um, you, got, like, you got your thumb drivers right there, thumb screws. And then you have another set of, those are probably the spacers that go between the block and the screw. And then you have um, another type of spacer. So I'm assuming one's for AMD and one's for Intel. All right, down to business. Check this out. Man, this thing just looks phenomenal. Wow. Woo-wee. Check that out. Oh my God, this thing is gorgeous. Gorgeous, look, you can see the LEDs in it and stuff. And it's heavy. Wow, this thing is heavy. Notice that it has a copper base to it. This one does not appear to have a copper base. It appears to be nickel of some kind. And I like how that comes with the thumb screws in it right there so you can tighten it up and keep it clean. Man, look at the channels in there. So it looks like the water goes in and then splits like a V and goes one way or the other. See how like it goes in and then it splits it like a V and then it runs through the other side and comes out the other end. Man, that's really cool arch, man. The black with the nickel finish. I think what we'll do is, is we will try to plug it in to one of those fan headers over there and we'll get it to light up and stuff. Maybe oh, we can get it to light up because that would be cool to see it all lit up. Man, I can't wait to build in this thing. So the good news about hooking this thing up is that I noticed that every slot is actually keyed slightly different. So that way, if you're not sure what goes where, uh, it's pretty self-explanatory. And that right there, that's where our uh, micro USB goes through. I bet that's the control module for it. And check that out. There's actual switches down there. It says temp. That's cool. All right, so I'm assuming that this one goes into here and then one of these over here, probably this one, will go from the box to that. And that should be able to turn it on. So I guess I gotta go pull the side panel off my case real quick so I can mount it to a Molex real fast and just get power to it. All right, so I got it all wired up. It was very straightforward. And I like how, see how long the cable is on it? That right there is a nice feature. I like a long cable. That way you're not worried about it being too tight or something. Uh, let's see here. Let's. All right, so I pulled off the back plate here. Uh, let's see here. There has to be a Molex that's free somewhere. That's SATA. More. Is there those two? Why did that unplug? That's not good. There we go. Got that plugged back in. Ooh, a little jittery there. Okay, so look, right there is a. Wow, that's a loose connection. Molex right there. Let's we'll plug it into that right there. Oh, there we go. What the heck? Come on. That's why I hate Molex. It's a real pain in the ass. There it is. Oh yeah, very cool. Man, this thing looks great. Look at the uh, the side profile for it. And then underneath the RGB. Oh man, they nailed it with this one. Excellent job. You guys like it? Like our new water block that we're going to put in? It's gonna look phenomenal. Let's see here. If I was to just kind of put it in there just to kind of look at it. Oh yeah, that's gonna look cool. 
we're not going to put it in this case but it is going to go on that that motherboard in there oh yeah yes sir that is nice i highly recommend getting this water block if this is something you are thinking about getting i would definitely get this thing this is too cool if you're wondering what the price tag is for it it was 115 dollars 115 it's 109 plus tax so it comes out to about 115 and it's going to look phenomenal wow excellent very cool well i hope you guys like this video make sure to leave a comment below subscribe and stay tuned for this channel because i'm telling you what we got a really cool we got a couple cool builds coming up we're just kind of waiting for the whole christmas thing to kind of happen and then after that we can focus more on what we need to do so with that being said make sure to leave a like subscribe and i'll see y'all in the next one y'all be cool